Let's do this voter. First ever voter review, by the way, from a viewer that plays Yoru. So this is going to be very interesting. Maybe I will can, I can learn something myself. So using a lineup from the bell that goes on to three, I would assume. No, it stops at A side. And then you go into C. You TP'd early to help the A players. Will I hear your own voice when you're going to be speaking? Did this record with your own voice or not? I'll find you. Hmm. You're not hearing your comms is going to be a problem, but... We'll see. Strike planted. It's a 3v2. You went alone. Wait, was that you? See? Yeah, okay, we're gonna hear you. Okay. Yes. You playing solo queue here? One enemy remaining. Oh my god, the frame rate. What is happening here? Nice. Okay, I was, that's nothing actually to like. You can argue that maybe you should go in with the teammates, uh, but also like going one two split on retake is also not bad. Uh, and your teammates just didn't play it correctly because they actually they were next to each other. All right, you're fully buying on round two, which is nice. You went for the Spectre. Did the same rotational TP for A? No, you don't do it yet. So, the thing is though... Um, if you want to a TP for A... Look, I I'll give you an, an advice here. If you want to play on defense and you want to have rotational TP for A... Because what, what happens to you, you lose a lot of time in spawn... And then you're like in a weird position. But if you're playing from, for example, C... Here you can do a tip, uh, you can do a, a lineup for the TP like this, just literally in this spot, and it goes into spawn to ha to give you a better um, better rotation as well, you know. But you're able to play on one of the sides because the thing is, the thing is that you lost a lot of time in the prep area. We're gonna put, pay attention to it, but it, you might be losing a lot of prep time area if you want to play C. If you'll play B, it's fine. Like here, this is fine. By the way, your rotational TP, by the way, right now missed. This position, like you have to be very aware. If you TP here, it's gonna very, be a very high chance you just insta die. Because typically on ranked, when people are pushing A side, the defenders are completely clueless about stairs, and if you just TP blindly there, there's a very high chance you're gonna get killed. Alright. Let's bring it... Bring it down a little bit. The way you peek here is very lazy. It might not seem as lazy, but it's you're taking a very high risk, and against a Sheriff player, you most likely would die. Look how you wrap around the corner. See this? It's like you... It's it's not a big issue, but it can lose you gunfights. The way you're doing it... Let me take the spectre, right? It's like you're pushing up here, and instead of doing a maximum speed swing, you're doing this, like, slow peaking into this corner. Look, let's play it full speed again. There. Like this is I can't hit pe I can't also hit people who are um who who are like shift peaking like you, but most people will. <laughs> you know? Most people win will. 
and you are peeking in a way that a someone with a sheriff will most likely kill you right here. So one thing that I like to advise is you can silent swing without pressing shift, right? In a situation like this, you can just literally just swing like this and never make sound. Listen. Full speed without pressing shift and you cannot make sound, you know? And but you're better equipped to fight someone if it's here. You can you have to practice it. Just stand next to a corner and learn how much can you move without shifting, without making noise. So avoid the one step. It's it's something that you need to just learn to understand how much time it needs to pass. Human body is fantastic when it comes to learning absolutely milliseconds timings just by repeating it. It's like the same way that musicians can play correctly in timings and tempo and perfectly with the metronome without even hearing the metronome. Because the human body is really well built to, I don't know why, but it just works that way. Your body will get to know the timing if you just repeat it over and over again. You know? Like, this is something that many people need to learn. Like, how much can you swing without making noise, without having the shift? No way this man is about reviewing this late at night. Are you aware of time zones? Okay, a little bit overheat right here. You already got two kills. This this is the moment for you to TP out and play safe. You got a double kill. But you should have died against the chamber alone. This is like insanely lucky, you know? This is like insanely lucky. The moment you got the second kill here on the Sage, this is the moment for you to say, fuck it, I done enough. You know? I've done enough. You have your TP, you had your TP ready, like right here, right? You still have your TP. This is the moment to TP out. But even though it expires, you know where the opponent is, you can reuse your, your TP right here. When you're in this spot, right, you got the kill on the Sage, so you kill the Sage, your TP is out, you do the TP here, you buy yourself time, right, buy yourself time again, TP to safety, run away. You got two kills, you did a fantastic job already, you know? Fortunate for you, your opponents were horrible. But you greeted out really badly, you know? And if you would have... Imagine you die here, you give them a gun, and it's a 3v2, and it's actually losable for your team because they got a gun. Oh my god. Remember, I'm gonna be very, very, very nitpicky and like blasting every single mistake right that's the reason why you send the vod right it's not insulting it's we want to all everyone to learn so many uh, bad people <laughs> i need this <coughs> how much cash do you have wait <coughs> fuck me 3.8 <coughs> weapon here you have 5.7 for the next round. What do you buy? Full shields. You have... Okay, you have 4.2 for the next round. It's all fine. Time to jump. If you don't nitpick, there's no reason to further reward of you. Yeah, but people in chat who are not sending the VODs typically are like, Oh man, this guy is toxic. Why are you even watching him? I I'm not kidding. Every time I do a VOD review, people think I'm too harsh. The people that are not sending the vote review. Shadows traveling. 
I... Okay, so you baited a teammate right here. Like, this is, this is like, f look, two players are in front of you. Two players are in front of you, right? And the chamber dies and you not instantly swing, 100% mistake, right? This is like, you know that you're, there are two of your teammates are fighting. Those teammates are pushing in because they're going to be aggressive. So you, as the player who is behind them, need to be ready to help them. If I would be this chamber, I would be so mad at this guy and at this guy that they are not helping me at all. Like, on the Omen, a little bit less because he has a bad angle, but the, ch but the Yoru is in the best possible angle to try to help. Even though you have a really bad weapon here for this angle, you can just ADS and try. Like, try to get, an, uh, uh, try to get some damage done or something, you know? Like right here, your your peak over here in this position right here is like late, and there's a very high chance you die alone, just like the chamber. My potter broke. I'm assuming that you had a that you had a plan to TP with the flash, but you didn't communicate anything to the teammates. So your TP was just kind of like standing there, doing nothing, right? You did another similar TP. Okay. I, I really like the fact that you... Uh, okay, this is a very good reaction for you, but I have to give you a commendation here. When you play here, look look at your reaction. You kill the Sage, you see the Reyna. But because you have a Spectre, you... Even with Phantom, I would say it's the same shit. You just, you just still spam... And just run away in cover. This is a very good reaction. I really like it. You bought yourself a second life, essentially. If you would have TP out, you would have died. Because it stops you in your tracks and, you just don't, and you're not a moving target. But I don't understand the way that you play your TPs here. Because they indicate you want to play aggressive, but you play defensive, right? And you will never use that TP. Because they are pushing in that, that direction. I think this is something that many yours don't understand. Or like don't try to like um, get value of. Your first TP was over here. Your second TP was like this. But the way you played indicates that you never plan on even on using them because you're playing in deep locations that you cannot take advantage of of the flash because you're being pushed by multiple multiple players from the same location. So the only way of utilizing this, this TP is by using a flash in this area. And if you want to use the flash from this area, you can't really play from doors. Right? Because you would have to open the doors and then flash, but then you put, your, put yourself in a, in a dangerous position. So you would have to play from stairs or from like entrance to A-side to utilize a flash over here. So consider using the TP in a different manner. If you have a chance, like if you are being pushed by the opponents, use your TP as a safety net. Use your TP to go into drop, maybe. Use your TP from here into like deep deep stairs use your tp for i mean in most cases i would use it either for drop here myself or from or for tree because no one stands there if you're just like not being pushed there that there's a very high chance if they're not opening the doors right and even if they open the doors they're never gonna look here for from close range so you have a free space Yo, Animus, thank you so much for the eight months. Welcome back, buddy. Thank you so much for the continuous support. My ready. Spike down a. A. Spike Remember, you get the two, another TP, right? Whenever you get the double kill. And right now, you have the spike. You can definitely consider using a fake TP right now to uh, just saw confusion. This was a huge over this was a huge overcommitment by you. Also, why are you shooting the doors instead of the eye? This is something that many players it's really confusing to me. Like let me let me explain specifically also in this position, okay? When people are attacking the doors, someone who who is opening the doors is standing from this position. So when the Reyna puts the blind over here, she's not gonna attack. There's a very small chance she's just gonna go for this angle. She's gonna wait for this angle to open. 
right? So spamming into this direction gives you an actual last chance at killing someone because you're most likely going to be picked from the left side. But the Reina blind just takes two bullets. So you had, you had two options of playing this and you chose the third one. So let me explain. In this situation, this is your first angle of contact, right? So there are two options of playing this. Either you destroy this Reina Lear or you hide from the Reina Lear behind the tree so you see this angle. Standing here and just spamming this angle gives you the less chance of winning this gunfight because most likely there's a higher chance to be picked from this area and you're just trying to get lucky by spamming this. You have absolutely no vision and you can counter this by either destroying the orb or just hiding behind tree and limiting the view. Because even though... Look. Oops. Hello. All right. Fucking epic pen. Like when someone blinds you like right here, if you hide like this, you're still gonna see, but you counted the Reyna Lear, right? So you, either your reaction should be, shoot Reyna blind, or not shoot the Reyna blind, and reposition like this. Enemy remaining. Oh, quick, quick, quick. Could have used that TP earlier when you were in danger, uh, but still okay. They should give up now. Save us the Anyone effort. No. I try to TP fast so they don't hear where I am. Remember, the range of the gate crash is 43 meters. They're gonna hear it. The range sound of the ult is 83 meters. It's really a lot. Like it's bigger, like it's bigger than the radius of the footsteps. The footsteps radius from the Yoru to the edge of the footsteps is 40. Now you might think, well, it's only three meters. But when you consider its diameter, it's actually way bigger, way bigger circle than this. Uh, here, here we go, the rank. Time to jump. Ah, you bait. See, okay. So when I when I tracker reviewed you yesterday, that's what I assumed is happening. You are baiting your teammates a lot here, like. This is, this is like right here, very similar situation to the chamber that was in front of you on the round two, right? Like, you should be swinging or helping the fade in any way. Even using the clone here is helpful. But right now, the fade died and you did nothing. Like, this is very, very selfish behavior from you here. You're not swinging when the fade is... Uh, fighting, you're not using any util to help her, you could have flashed. Like, there were so many, so, so many different things you could have done. For example, when I'm, when I'm in a situation like this, and my teammates, teammate is literally just standing here fighting, then there are two things that I can do. Flash over here to help him, use a clone, and swing after that, right? Or just dry swing when he's fighting. When he's standing here, I'm just dry swinging. You know, the Yoru clown is the is the safest to use, and then you can swing after the clone. But right here, you essentially left uh, left your opponent, uh, left your teammate to die. Closed. I'll this. Ah. It's an eco, right? What's the motivation to use the ultimate here? No one here, no one see. And you also didn't set up a TP, by the way. Look, uh, one habit that you need to do 
One habit that you need to do is before or during the early stage of your ultimate, always set up a TP. Like, this is already too late. Ah! You almost fucked yourself. Like, this is very close, by the way. When when you when you use the ultimate, if you would have pressed the flash a little bit later, then the flash would have not happened because Yoru, when the ult just literally finishes, right? If you would have literally pressed it 100 milliseconds later, the ult animation would cancel your flash. But also, like, you're just making a, a very, very weird decision right here. Because what happens is, what happens is, you play the flash in a way that makes your opponents turn into you. So remember, your opponents never see the flash before the bounces, right? So when this happens, when you're flashing, they're going to see it from the bounce. And they are already close to the corner. So the thing is, with Yoru, you have a million ways of playing this round, right? In case, my own personal playstyle would be, in this case, I'm not even fighting. They are too close to the corner. You can't really get a good grasp. And if you flash over here, they're going to be looking at you because they're going to turn away from the flash. So what you want to achieve is you either want to flash in a way that they turn away from your position, right? So try bouncing or just, being, or just having to make a pop flash. So when you have players like this, it's a really bad position to flash. But still, if you want to make the best out of it, you want it to bounce from the ground behind them and pop flash in front of them because the bounce range is seven meters. You know? Right here, you just fucked yourself over. Yeah. So this is a classic overheat. Classic overheat. You didn't have a con contingency plan when you use the ultimate. You didn't have a TP set up for safety. Right? You always want to have a TP, uh, not always, but in most cases you want to have a TP for safety. You pushed against an eco, you gave them a Vandal. So even though you got two kills, you literally just kind of threw the round right here. So two huge mistakes. You baited the fade, right? I understand that you were not confident because you're scared for lining up, but that's the reason when you're scared of lining up, Look, if the fade is standing here and fighting here, then your job is to not swing like this. It's to swing wide and then take the fight over here, right? Or if you're scared in a situation like this, just use the clown and then follow the clown, right? Like out. Don't follow it literally like this, but like just peek after the clown if you're scared. But you should be helping this fade. So really two huge mistakes in this round. Did your teammates lose this round? Yeah. So, this is a very, very big learning moment for you. You got two kills this round, but your two mistakes cost the team the round. You know? It's quite literally on you. I'll tear through. How to flash against that chamber in, in rain in that situation? Uh, again, it's not going to be a, an ideal flash because the entire context of that situation is bad for the Yoru. But if you want to flash those players that are standing here, I would have never flashed like this because they're always going to turn around. So what I want to achieve is bounce flash like this, for example. So it goes behind them and pop slash in front of them. See this? Like they are in a position here. It bounces seven meters. So you want to make a pop flash behind them and i use the corner of the of the edge of the wall to not flash myself you want to okay so i have a rotational tp for rope okay you want to play? Let's play. Begins. I like the fact that you use the clown in the correct this direction, so it, it mimics a player peak. You're taking the space. 
But you went back to A. But you were done. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. So you're using an aggressive TP. But this aggressive TP doesn't really do much now, does it? And they also get an info about it because it steps. But people at plat, I'm assuming they are dumb and they're not even realizing it. Yeah, your position is not the best. You lost the stairs control, right? And you're looking at a wall right now. Like, see this? Like, you're not confident if what's happening. You're not um, taking any angle. You're just holding a wall so you died because of that. In a situation like this, when you TP'd onto site, it doesn't matter where your teammates are. You just have to hold one, one angle. Like, right here... Even if you hear the DP from the Omen, you still should hold this angle. Your two other teammates were on your left. So you just assume, let's hope, that the other teammates are not morons and they're going to ho hold this. But you should be always holding this or reposition, right? But the thing is, you again use the... You, you, you tend to put yourself with the TP in a position to be an aggressor. When sometimes it's not the correct decision. Right? Considering the different usage of the TP would be nice in those situations, right? Okay, so you're going for an aggressive play. Wait, this is... <sighs> Our omen literally smoked like the opponent's omen should. Oh my god, dude. Uh, for for the worst you will see players at Immortal 3 doing the same shit like it's literally awful thank god you didn't TP what would be better defending TPs um, look if this is a very similar situation when you were standing on, on here right like I would consider just putting a TP into safety like unfortunately on this side the TP to safety is just most likely drop because if you're playing on site, you are fucked. You cannot put the TP over here. You cannot TP... Like, if, you, if you're going to TP, put the TP over to, to tree, you never have, like, certainty if you just put it like this because it's an awful and it's an awful angle. Like, the only TP in tree that I can literally just put is like this, and it's still pretty risky because if someone goes that close, they will see it. But typically, they are checking it like this. Oh, no one's here. Okay, we go forward. And they leave it. Because they will never know about it, right? But the thing is, in most cases, if when I'm on A side, I just put a TP on on drop as a as a backup to safety, you know. So uh, I would avoid destroying the doors because the opponents are not pushing onto A. It's an additional trap. Your omen int it really, really big fucking way. So I like the TP that you did because you assume that they're gonna push into A now after killing the omen, and they are. You get an aggressive angle. You're not using any util though. You are. Oh god, dude. Oh god. I mean, you're diffing them. But if the opponent is any better, they kill you every time here. Like, this is just stupid from the opponents. Like, they didn't punish you with anything. But it works because they swing like morons, right? But consider this again. You play here. Hey. You get the first kill. And now, this is the... If you know, if you hear the footsteps, you should be assessing, do I have time to use utility or not? Right? Lights up. And you, sh you should have assessed the when, when, when you got the kill on chamber That was the moment to use the clone Or the flash And just back up Right Yeah, omens paranoia you and you're dead Because you have no TP set up, right You have no, no flashes being used Nothing Like after the first kill you, the, 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 the directional sound of the footsteps Should give you enough Info that you had time to now stop the push from happening because the chamber is an overpeaker 
You know? So... That's about it. And, by the way, another thing that you should have done... When you TP'd here, you assume... You make the TP because you make the assumption that the opponents are gonna push now into this area. So, your reaction should be when you TP'd over here and you don't hear any footsteps. That gives you enough time to set up another TP. Right? So, imagining it this way. You TP over here. Right? You don't hear any footsteps. I'm just doing some random TP to safety. Then I'm holding this angle like you do. I'm getting the TP on, on the... Oh, oh my god, epic pen. I'm getting the t uh, kill on the chamber and I fuck, and I fuck off. I did my job. This way you don't even have to use the flash or anything. I need to learn when to call it quits and reset. The discipline of knowing when to not overheat is something that a huge majority of the players need to learn, including myself. I still overheat in, in a lot of cases, right? But it's always you need to learn from every single situation. Five down My A. One enemy remaining. Spike is A. I can, I can heal you. For you. Thank you. Oh, spike's here. Spike's here. <laughs> You never have to watch the chamber position. I just wanted to say that if you're going to turn, I'm going to be mad. Your chamber is looking... Look at the map. Your chamber is covering the entire side there. The only thing you need to cover is the Sage position. Just stay with Sage. You don't have to help chamber here at all. 30 seconds left. Like, chamber is so deep, you're going to have enough time to reposition with Sage towards the spike. But if the Sage dies first, he's already close to you. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. And most likely, you. Th this is th this is something that you would see at Immortal Three as well. Those are the contact players. You are the player that reacts to contact, so you should be never peeking. You should be just standing here or standing here and not doing anything. You just wait for the player here or player here to have contact and then to react to it. If you lose this round, it's on you. But you will not lose this round because it's not enough time, right? 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 No way, you lose this, yeah. You nice. are a boulder. I okay, am a mountain. These new friends of ours are not too friendly. Yo, vote reviewing Yorus is fucking tough because there's like one million things you can do and it's also playstyle based. Fuck me, man. When you vote review something that is like simple, okay, like, message. I don't know, Killjoy or Omen, like the decision making is just so much simpler. <laughs> That is unfortunate, Spitter. Wait, wait, what did you do? You just didn't buy the flash because you didn't have the cash, but you should have asked for a weapon, right? Let me check. Ah, might be tough to ask for a weapon here. So, this is a personal preference. In this round, I would have gone for uh, a ultimate with a stinger, right? But again, this is playstyle difference. If you're not comfortable with ult stinger, like, then you will not do it. But I would definitely, I try to, every time I have the ultimate, I try to get a kill with the stinger. That's the way I play Yoru. And it's not, I'm not saying it's the only correct way. Right? That's why Voto Viewing a Euro will be tough. I will have a different decision making than you. But I feel like not using your ult to maximize potential is just wasteful. You know? Like, and probably I would go also, if I would go for the Vandal, I would have gone for two TPs, two flashes, and play small armor instead. 
Ulti with Stinger, similar place as the shorty ult play. Wait, you didn't see me like ult at all? Like I'm using it seven times per game, man. This is your almond smoke. Fuck me. All right, when you see a smoke like this, slap your fucking omen through the face with a keyboard because this is literally something that the fucking attacker would do and not the defender. Just learned about you a couple days ago. Okay, so I, I'm I'm planning to make a, a video on how I use the ultimate with the stinger. For now, what it can do is go to the Discord, go to the Twitch clips, and just watch some clips from the ults. Um... Let's see. Let's play this as an example. I'm gonna ult again. Yeah, wait for me. I'm I'm checking this. No one close. What? No, yellow. Well, might be not the best example, but you get the point. Top side. Well done. Top side. Oh, this is ridiculous, by the way. Jesus Christ. Wait, maybe there's a better example. Um, what is this one? Yeah, it is what it is, my friends. Play faster, I guess. Wait for me. I'm checking everything for you. Always equip the flash yellow. first. No one yellow. One orange. I don't see anyone top side. On top of the box here. And one kitchen. You see how you see how I use the flash with the bounce as a pop flash? Right? Uh, well done, well done, well done, well done, well done. Oh my yeah. god. We're gonna have to get just more clips. But you, you can find a lot of ultimate clips from there to get like a little bit of context. Funny thing, when I use that smoke on attack and I say I'm smoking the cross, my teammates tell me that it's a bad smoke. You tell your teammates they're morons. I mean, don't tell them, that's toxic as fuck. But they are not right, you're right. You overrated as fuck, but I cannot blame you because there were other two players on A side, so... You should be speaking. What's your plan? You have no TP ready. So very minimal value with this. Like, you gained nothing from this ultimate. Right? You, you gained nothing. You, and you also had no way of going back because you didn't pre-set up a TP. So one thing that you need to learn when using the ultimate definitely definitely pre-set up tps even when you already activated the ult you still can use it Spike planted. like you wasted flash and and t and the clown and you didn't gain lots of the, of the ult from the ultimate and this is if i'm not mistaken against a low buy as well you're baiting you're baiting right here you're baiting the chamber by the way you might not realize it but the way that you're playing here you should be following the chamber, already close. Should be, you should be closer, and you should be running in, right here. This is the moment when you should be around the corner and go with the chamber. You should have been trading the chamber already, a second ago. You played it well when it comes to shooting, but you did bait your chamber. No button. Save the day. <coughs> Look at me. I know that I am by your can someone get this. Map is dog shit, the max is fantastic. Thank you. And remember that even though you're 17-3. Your team, 
lost one round to the opponents just because of your decision making. You deal 340 damage per round, you get insane amount of kills, but you still lost one round. Your decision making alone, right? And in the end, it doesn't matter if you get 40 kills, if you lose. Time to jump. Timing is a little bit off. Uh, let's see what you do. Well, okay. I feel like you changed your plan mid... Mid... Uh, Mid-round. Like, you put the TP, right, to be aggressive, and that first flash was already good. Here, you should TP right here, this moment. If you go for this play, go for this fucking play, right? When you do this, that was the moment for you to strike. Now you're being overrun, and you're not ready to fight. So you're fucked, right? So, there are two options of playing this. Let's, let's, uh, let's make a... Let's make a... Um, let's make a example of this so we're starting we're starting from your position over here right you're gonna do first the, t the tp it goes over here you're going fast over here being blinded you can preset up your clown you can now go for the flash and do this and this is probably the most efficient way of attacking that but it requires practice remember that Remember that um, that equipping the clone takes time, but if you preset up it and then activate, you're able to do both at the same time. You know? Yo, guys, min there's no best minimap settings. It's preference. Like I have, I have it this way. He might have it. He might enjoy it more that way. Like, I prefer to have full vision on the minimap every time I look at it, but people have different preferences. There's no best setting for the minimap. Okay? So, yeah. So, this setup, like, the way that you played off the first flash, you fucked yourself over by not TPing. That was the moment for you to strike, and then you're hesitant. You're hesitant, and you're dying with utility in hand. So, essentially, you... You die here, not because you're unlucky, you die here because of your own lack of confidence in the decision making. Alright, so you have a rotational TP, you're playing, you're playing on B. Wait, 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 this is how much, you ca how much cash you have. Oh, I heavily dislike this buy. So, you go for a full shield and a, and a sheriff. That's 1.8k. So you don't even have a second flash. Not the second gate crash. Right? But you save enough cash for a full buy next round in case of full armor and rifle. Consider building your economy differently. In this round, what I would have done is half shields and the sheriff if you want it. From the half shields, you buy second flash and second gate crash. And you just have still more, more cash than this. Because you're going to save 600 and you're going to spend 350. That means that you're going to have 4.250 for next round. And on a spending 1k cash on shields on a, on a half buy, it's really not worth it. In my eyes, it's not about the shields. The you are able to use utility in this round. You literally look, look at this. With the small shields buy and full util this round, you have 4.250k next round. So you can use one of your flashes this round with small shields and the sheriff and still rebuy it next round to have full buy. You can also not buy the second TP and save another 150. So you're gonna be at 4-4 because if you're gonna only gonna buy one flash, then you're gonna have so much cash. 
right? So you're going to be able to even use your clown this round to have more cash for the next round. I would advise to never buy heavy shields on an eco buy. It's just, in my, case, in my eyes, it's not worth it. If a pro player who is radiant right now gets a new account and booms the, in the placement, what is the max rank he gets? Um, plat 3? That's the maximum rank anyone can get. If I'm not mistaken. Ah, your cursor placement is a little bit lazy here. You overstayed your welcome, right? Remember that when you, when you take the gunfight here, you have a high precision gun, but you're just spamming it. If you're if you're if you are doing this, right? If that's your option of taking the gunfight over here, and you're gonna commit to spamming the sheriff, then crouch. If you do this, crouch. But if you're not if you're not gonna crouch, then AD AD shot AD shot AD shot. Pistols are really really accurate while moving. Use that to your own advantage. You know. Also, look at the amount of time that the opponent gave you here. Remember what I'm saying? Never crouch against the sheriff. This chamber maybe didn't crouch, but gave you a static target. You take your time, you get an easy headshot on him. Right? It's a little bit panicky. But also remember, you have your TP. You are fucked here. You see three players. You're like, oh shit, okay, let me TP out. So many options what you can do here, right? Spike planted. Too far. I was thinking maybe you could get the Fendal and then save the Fendal, but good effort. What about Jet Chamber ult on Eco still no full shield? Well it depends on the context. Like but then you're not spending cash on a weapon, so you have more cash to spend on a half, on a full buy shield, right? On a full shield. Like, if you go chamber <coughs> ultimate, you're not spending anything on weapons. That gives you potentially the cash for the full uh, full shields. Well, this time you didn't bait your chamber because he TP's out. <laughs> Not ideal gunfight, let's say it like this. Not ideal gunfight, let's say it like this. I don't think there was like major mistakes over here. I feel like the the problem is still crouching, right? Like you can see that you are just not resetting the recoil. You you crouch in full sprayed when the gun is like out of control. So one thing that you did well before. You were taking your time when aiming and going for precision instead of spammable shots. And here you are going, I feel like you're affected by the previous round and you go for the shaky, shaky shots, you know? Take your time, AD, AD, exclamation mark duels, you know? Rank is plat two of our player here. But hey, at least at least you got traded, so that's something. Okay, your teammates want this. I can buy. How do I get my votes reviewed? Exclamation mark play stream. Uh, uh, what is your buy here? Uh, for Thank you. Full buy. Okay. How do you use your ultimate? Let's see. This time you pre-set up the TP. Nice. You get the info. You're not speaking. Motherfucker, open your fucking mouth. <laughs> you should be literally telling your teammates. Four players on site, right here. You know? 
You're not, you shouldn't be pinging. You should be saying stuff. And now we get the full info. So you'd be sh you should be saying five players on site, all everyone on site, right here. Yeah, you, you got no value. Time to jump. This is a complicated thing, and it comes from confidence and practice, right? You could have isolated one angle for sure. The chamber could have been easily isolated. See how he is standing here in this in this spot? You could have killed him easily. By doing what? Flashing this wall. Bounces like this. Or flashing here. So it bounces in front of him from this point. Use it as a pop flash. And then you go to your left when you're exiting the ult. So it would look something like this. Ah, fuck me. Epic pen. So it would look something like this. Um... Uh, Hello? I'm in the ult. I see the chamber over here. And I'm doing this. When he's standing over here, I'm pop flashing like this, exiting the ult. If I have a stinger, he's already dead. If I don't have a stinger, I have the 250 milliseconds slower equip time. But it gives me the time to do that. Right? That flash. So, pop flash over here. So he's in front of him and he doesn't see where he bounces from or from this wall or like this, and it's deeper towards the side, so it's probably even better. Both are good, just commit to one. You know? But you should be, like, the, the way you flashed side didn't help you at all. And I feel like when you're playing your rule, you need to play your ultimate to find value at getting backstabs or getting kills and TPing out. Hey, Buddha. I'm back. No, he has a mic. He's just not speaking, guys. Fuck me, guys. It's a bug out. Uh, HMDS. Ah, nice kill. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I think your opponent got baited by the TP. I'll be honest with you. I think they saw it. He's like, hey, wait, there's a, there's a go to TV over here. More or less. Curious. Curious. I like the reposition. I really like it. You're waiting for your Sage to retake, I guess? Oh, I don't, oh, don't move at that point. Fuck it. You're not ready. Look, look the angle that you're taking after taking the, the shock that you're panicking. You're panicking right now. Tank it. You can you, you you just literally can stand in that corner and just not do anything. If he uses the second one, that's the moment when you swing. You're gonna hear it. When he's using the second one, then you swing. But the first one literally killed you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I like the fact that at least he's taking his time to aim. Yeah, yeah, and also, yeah, I forgot to say. It's very important. When you're in a position like this, right? Like, I'm, I'm in your position. I'm a, I see a shock dart. It's like, ah, fuck me. 75 damage. And then I hear the second shock dart, and then I swing like this. I don't swing like this. Because that gives your opponent more time to actually react to you. Because you lo you're losing time by... How do I explain that? Your opponent sees more of you in less amount of time. So if you swing like this, you have better reaction for you. When you're swinging like this, your opponent will just slowly see you. I don't want to be mean, but if the major of the plat lobbies don't know the basic mechanics of the game like this one, you guys are not ready to rank up. I don't know how you guys can, can go to plat like that. Mr. Miguel, I don't want to be mean. But I'm playing at Immortal 3 and Radiant, and most of the motherfuckers at that rank, most likely you as well, have absolutely no fucking clue about the game. And this motherfucker who sent this VOD wants to learn, and he's already have a better mindset than you. So fuck off. You don't want to be mean. Holy shit. 
Ooh. Almost. Nice try. <coughs> Last round before the switch. Oh, no. Spend everything. We keep nothing. Last round of the game uh, of the of the half. What are you buying? Let me check how much cash you have. Last round before the Three point six. You have zero util. Now imagine, imagine if you didn't buy that half uh, that full shield on that one eco buy, you would have had a small shields vandal with utility this round. You know. Switch. Vandal light shield would be my buy. I mean, I would in this case I would still buy 3.6. That means I can buy Vandal light shields, one flash, or a clone and a TP. I would probably go for one one flash, but yeah. Or if I had the ult, is single play, or I would just go for judge. It, there's so many options here. Like it really, it really depends on the play style, though. How do you finalize the contract? It just leads me to a page that has no that has the coupon. That means that you have look, Babushka. Try not using a ad blocker on the browser, and it should fix it. Their fears betrayed them. Cutting through. Sending a vote for Lotta to review requires cojones the size of a small island. So respect the player being reviewed. <laughs> I mean, guys, to get out of your own comfort zone is really, really fucking rough. I respect every single one of you that are sending the vote review to not humble brag. This person that sent this vote review dropped 30 kills on this map and lost. And they want to know why. And it's because he already sent a, vote, uh, a tracker review yesterday. He already knew that it's most likely because of his own bad decision making. So he is fully aware that he's going to get to some degree, quote unquote, roasted here. Oh, you can open the doors right now, and they will not hear it, by the way. Nice. Could have been a little bit faster with the decision, but I still... Like it. <laughs> well, good job. You could have... How many... How, wait, how many bullets they have? Alright, this reload is never needed. This reload? You have 19 bullets, my friend. This reload is a bad habit. Most of the players at lower ranks have bad habit of reloading every time. They don't need to. You should be reloading only when you're like certain that you're not going to get pushed by anyone. Right? And also, even when you're reloading here, like, you could have swapped back to the weapon and it probably will be the same speed than the full reload, but it's always like a maybe a good reaction to just cancel the, cancel the, the reload on SMGs and pistols. But still, it was a good... Like, you were a little bit slow on the reaction to the Fade Ult, but it was still played well. Okay, let, let's see how you guys play that too. Oh, okay, good call, good call. You made the call to go together. I like that. It's C plant. So he's not going to be close over here, but he might be on long. The spacing right now between the two of you is okay. Time to jump. What are you going to do with this? You're running out of time. You have to be faster. Like, you are not following Fade. See how she's already on site and you are back? Like, the first... The, the rule of thumb is when you're doing a push with multiple players, you are following the player who is in front of you. Right? So when, the, when you see a player in front of you, your job is to be close to him. It's not his job to be slower to match to you. You need to be the one that is faster, okay? What the fuck did I started drawing on this app? Shit. What the fuck? What is the keybind here? I don't know. 
I don't I don't know this website. Careful here. Yeah, he doesn't have the time even. Uh, let me let me rewatch this. There. You should have probably TP there. Yeah, like you're running out of time. If you don't kill him fast, if you don't kill him fast, you lose the round, right? So you you baited the fade over here when she's entering side. You know that he's backside after he shot the eye. So when you flash he when you flash there because you're running out of time. You should go for the 1v1 gunfight there. Because right now, it doesn't really do anything. And also, your teammate is a moron, so... Look when he cancelled the plant. You would have won this if he would have sticked the half defuse. Look. If he sticks the half defuse, he's not even, he doesn't even see the fucking omen. He doesn't even see the omen and he cancels the half defuse. So you would have won this. But yeah. But still, the proper way for you to play was follow the fade earlier. And then when you know where the player is and you're running out of time, you should have TP after that flash and take the gunfight. I think you need to start playing an easier agent because it seems like you take too much time to think you're you util. No, I don't. Have, I don't agree. I don't agree. You already have a good fundament for for the euro. Uh, what you need to do though is min max your your ultimate because so far in this game that ultimate gets no value, and that is a big piece of uh, an agent. And I can guarantee you. That if you take a little bit of time to practice aggressive ults with stingers, you're gonna be wrecking havoc at your rank. But the, the most... Look, him playing a different agent will not fix the biggest problem, which is the baiting. That's the first thing that you need to fix. Always be closer to your teammates, and when they are fighting, you should be peeking with them. And that's unfortunate. Um, if your plan is to go towards seaside, I recommend having lineups already from the barrier. Like, for example, if I have the certainty that I want to commit to C, right, I have few lineups. So from the barrier, I just use a lineup that looks like this from the left side of the orb, right? that goes onto this spot of the site. So I can attack it without worrying about doing the lineup when I'm moving into the closer direction of my enemies, right? You can also do the lineup for um, backside C. Fuck me, what was it? Was it this? Can't remember. I have the lineup for, for that from this location. Let me check. Yeah. So you don't have to like worry about using that later on. Then you can do it like already from the from the barrier so you save time, right? Like using it right here. Just do it like this and then you can move make space, right? You do a lot of pressure. Maybe the opponents will not see the TP because of that because you're f pushing them away. And then you either you have the TP here so you can flash like this and TP, right? Or if you wanted to pee onto here, well, then you have to go um, onto the side to actually flash the CT, right? Which is not easy because you need to get the control of this. You need to be like in here to flash like this and TP there, which is not easy, right? So it's easier to attack when you get the space closer. Smite Phantom looks kind of clean on high graphics. <laughs> Stand. <coughs> Don't. 
But y you got killed through a smoke, so it's like, well, unfortunate. Wait, 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 what is the buy here? All right, all right. I need this. I need this. You have 4K for the next round, but you didn't buy any util. You dropped a teammate a gun. Why are you doing this? Stop fighting. He has you more cash than you. <coughs> oh, wait, what's going on? You ask for a gun. Wait, what? Ah, okay, he's you're dropping him. Okay, never mind. I'm stupid, man. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Never mind. But you're buying yourself a ghost, but you're not buying yourself... Um, you're not buying yourself flashes. So when I play any character in the game, when I lose a pistol round, I always buy the util that I already want to have for the next round for the full buy. So in this case, I would personally go for at least one flash if I go for the ghost. If I don't go for the ghost, I go for double flash and just play the classic, right? But you should have at least one flash in this round because in case you get insanely lucky, you will be able to use it to maybe win a round. And now you don't even have a flash as well to make an aggressive TP, right? What's your plan here? Yeah, so literally wanted to say that this is going to happen. Because what you did is you used the most common angle for an opponent to see your TP. When you put your TP like this, most of the players... Remember how you played on defense, right? Most of the defenders are standing in this area, so they're gonna see your TP. And if you don't use a flash, there's a very high chance you just int. Right? How to fix that? Even if you commit to the same kind of TP, right? And you go for the ghost. And you do this TP that goes over there, right? If people are gonna spot it, use that clone over here. You take the space that the clone is not getting destroyed, right? And then you have to, like, flash that. I don't even know how to flash, fucking flash that. Because I never did that. Probably like this. Yeah. This will be the flash. So it's very tough to even get in that location. But you're playing a very risky one with a very high chance of your opponents already seeing you. So this TP over here is like almost guaranteed to be spotted. You know? I'm learning so much from your vote reviews. I'm happy to help. Like, you just kind of essentially guaranteed kill yourself. Of course. <laughs> See? But you think he's camping. He's not camping. He saw your TP because you used it on the most common defensive position to make certain that they see it. Right? Consider using, like, TPs that give you a bit of more, less space. Like, I understand that it's an eco, but why not TP over here? Why not take the early space, like, you, right here? And then go for the gunfights. Like, you already take, take, a, take a lot of space. You could also, like, TP into potential smokes. Like, on low buy rounds, when you want to be, um, like, efficient, right? Maybe ask your omen for a smoke. It can't be, of course. <laughs> Wait, your omen actually used a really ridiculous bad smoke. But it's, it's, it's funny as fuck. But maybe consider, for example, asking your omen to smoke over here. And maybe TP... Without any util into the smoke, you know? Like, there's a chance that it's going to be more effective than this, right? You just want to avoid using the most common... Uh, you want to avoid using TPE lineups that go for the most commonly held defender positions. Alright, your first full buy. One flash. Oh, you planted. That's what the only reason why you have cash for your flash is because your team planted. So you consider yourself lucky here. 
But if they wouldn't plant, would you go for full shields, no flashes? Because if you're playing Yoru, I would say you should consider going either full flashes, small shields, Vandal, or full flashes, high shields, and an SMG to go aggressive on site. Time to jump. Okay, so you do a, a lurking DP? Be one off. No, it's just okay, I was on C. Okay. Good comms on the wall, but you should definitely destroy it. Take the orb and destroy it. Take the orb first, man. Take the orb first. You can bait even someone maybe on the wall, right? Remember, someone might be on the wall. You can bait him with that fake uh, orb uh, hold. And getting the orbs is actually... If you learn how to use your ultimate to be effective killing machine, then every orb is like a fraction of a kill. Right? That's risky as fuck because someone can could still stand on the wall, by the way. And also this flash is like way too deep. Look. The way it flashes, it's like in the middle of the site. It's somewhere around here. So you don't really gain anything from it. The best flashes for the entrance of B-site are the ones that are gonna make it uh, better for you to enter, right? So when, you, when I'm standing here and there's the sage wall, you can always just do the flash like this, right? It just pops over here so everyone close is fully flashed, right? Or, like, you can always do it uh, from here as well. Like, so it pops over, right? You have to be like, a little bit more aggressive. Like, you can use the sage wall to your advantage, right? You can just, like, jump up, flash like this, so it pops over here, like... If you do a flash that is aggressive like this one, right? Look where it pop flashes. Like, over here. If someone is holding close angle with a shotgun or something, those people are never getting fully flashed. Oh, no, I'm proud. Also, you're not ready to fight at all. Look at the movement that you have. Like, you think no one is going to be there because of your flash. So you're not ready to fight. Contract accepted. One dollar oh, analyzer no, bell tracker broke. contract from roof or FR hashtag oh. IANFR. One enemy remaining. I had to kill. Let's go. I should have quit crouching. I'm when making that video about the Euro and ult, can you cover how you best to flash before leaving ult? Mine get dodged a lot and I feel... Yeah, that's the main reason why I'm going to do that video about the ultimate. Come on, let me buy. Let me. Fuck. What's going on? Come on, let me buy. Let me. Oh, you're lagging or something. Fuck. Ah, let's see. You have full util. Fuck. Come on, let me. You didn't use your TP yet. The overlay covered the shop? Oh. <laughs> nice yes. shot, man. Nice shot. It's a fucking dry peak. Sometimes you go for them and then, then you got cross the placement on the peak. Uh, this was really well done. That was re really nicely done. Good shot. Good peak, good cross the placement. Consider using ADS though. Cutting through. Alright, so you do again. The same TP. It goes for the most common, commonly held position, right? Okay, I like the clone. Good shot. Did he pay for both attack and defense? Fuck me, guys. All right. I'm generous today. I'm generous today. I already started the second second half. It should be just just one half, but it's okay. I'm gonna be generous today. Here. Thirty seconds left. 
at... <laughs> yeah, you know it's a bad decision. What you Following your omen would have been better. So you have a rotational TP. Your own is. Oh my god, man. He's a special case. Yeah. A. You're very set on using only the TP in backside. <laughs> Thank you for the wet font. Look! Right? This this lack of confidence is something that you have in many rounds. The opponents just got ulted by the fade ult. Look, there's not a single player being affected by the ult. There's no one on this site. You should be going in right now. Right now should be your running. You should have been hit by that fire noia and be on site. Like you should have absolutely no fear. And right now you're baiting your entire team. Thank God that you shot this. Okay, th this flash is actually pretty bad for you. So, why? Why is it bad for you? Because your opponents see fully how you flash. Look. Remember, they see the bounce, right? So, when you bounce like this, they... <laughs> Fucking epic pen. They see the players that are over here are fully seeing the flash for seven meters, and this flash. Look, when I'm gonna bounce it from this wall, look when it's gonna explode. It's behind me. See this? This is like six meters, and it's like almost above me. Now I'm fully flashed for the first time. Six, like almost six meters. Sorry, almost seven meters, right? Because this is still six. And this is like a half flash, you see? So this is like a bad flash because it pops over here. So the players will again be not fully flashed. So if you're standing in this corner and you know there's a motherfucker over here, consider using different bounces, right? Even using a bounce like this is better because they don't see it bounce from here, but from a tighter angle. You can use a bounce that goes like this, right? So it goes over here. It's also like more tragic to dodge. I don't know about this one. Let's see if you cannot fuck it up. Yeah, this is going to be fucked up. Like if there was no stairs, you definitely go for a bounce like this. But this one is actually good. Oh, well, this requires experience, right? To be in this situation before. But you're literally making a one-way flash right here for yourself. Look, look at this. Oh, fuck me. Okay, this is this has to be practice. It's gonna be tough to do in real time, but it is something that you can learn. Yeah, like this. So now from a tight angle. Nope. Let me see where do you have to aim. Yeah, this is good. Like if you aim at this 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 part of the stairs like this you can one ray flash all of those people with a pop flash this is like really tough to do but there's this it's always better right but this is like this flash almost has no effect this flash has a minimal effect this flash has a better effect but it's still not good the best flash would be a very tough one to execute but this one like this, right? But you can see that this guy is not fully flashed. One enemy remaining. Oh, you just don't flash the spot where it will be bad flash, just play corner hold? Yes, you don't have to be aggressive, you can just hold this corner and just never push it. Last. Last. 
Good angle hold. Cover going out. You don't have any like. All right, my own personal playstyle. If I have a Euro ult on attack, I'm gonna be using it first, almost first tempo or in the first five seconds of the round to find info, be a Sova drone and get a kill with a Stinger. But that's my playstyle, right? But I want to min-max the amount of rounds I can play the Stinger with the ult, get the economy up as well and get as much space as possible. This clone has no purpose. You just use the clone for nothing, right? You got the info of the players on stairs. Yeah, well, most likely he was there anyway. So you just use a you just use your utility without intent. Right? That's something that is very, very, very important for Yorus. You either use the the util for faking or you use it for initiation, but if you use it just as a spam, then it doesn't really get any value at all. Yeah, I, I would say that right now from the few rounds that I see on attack, you have the classic case of being super aggressive on defense and not being aggressive on attack at all. Our spike carrier is dead. Spike you know? B. I have Ten seconds left. One enemy like this remains. kill was not important, by the way, on this sage. Because your sage is solo planting on B. And you could have lost just because no one was helping the sage. Well, they sucked. If you are not doing well, keep trying. We must keep up appearances. Cover you want out. to play? Let's play. Second round when he didn't use your ultimate, by the way. Util from Fate is not being followed. You're baiting your teammates right here. You're not close even to going into site. Your champ is already on site. He got a kill by being aggressive. No one trades him. Everyone baited him. Literally, everyone from the team baited him. And no one wants to do anything. Let's try beaming. Last player standing. Spike down. C. And, uh, why do you use the ultimate right here? It's a 1v4. Like, it doesn't do anything. Good job. The flash could have been better done. Like, you could have... You could have literally checked it where she's standing still, right? Look, you don't have to hide behind the corner. She cannot hurt you. Like, be around the corner, see exactly how the Reyna is looking at, and then adjust the flash accordingly to her position. Because right now, this got lucky that you, you actually fully flashed her. Sometimes you can bait out the position of your teammate, uh, or position of the opponent, by ulting out and flashing, like, perfect timing. Flash, exit, ult, so they turn into your, into your corner, right? If you win this run, by the way, it's still a mistake of using that ultimate, by the way, there. You will not kill my allies. Ten seconds left. Yeah. So this round, you got two meaningless kills and wasted an ultimate. So you get you get no value, right? Together, we will bury them under their transgressions. Shadows traveling. Enemy. 
Time to jump. I have the spike. So another your your opponent is is camping the TP. Faking the TP makes no sense now because you want to keep it up. By faking it, you only fake when you know that your opponent is not holding it. Right? So you want to um you want to keep it up now because you know that someone is holding it because he shot your clone. So you can go into tree and bait the opponent into still holding that TP because it's up. Right? This doesn't flash the tree, so you have to check it. Good. Cutting through. Like, right now, you should have been already on site a long time ago. When the stage was on site, you should have been pushing as well. Okay, I can see this happen to anyone, so don't worry about this one. Okay, full buy, never mind. Oh wow, that paranoia. But you're using your clones very early. I don't know, I don't like this one. Like you white swung, and this clone doesn't really give you anything because you're not ready to go with it. So your clone has no purpose. Save your clone when you want to enter the side, actually. See, that, that clone, like, does nothing. You fake TP, which is nice, but then you use exactly the same TP for what? To go into the exactly the same position. So, so what you did right now is you fake TP behind the smoke, which is nice. People will have to recheck this angle, but then you use exactly the same TP line, which means that there's most likely someone who's going to be in this area because they're going to check the TP, the fake TP. So they will see your second TP. So you get no value out of the second one because you faked the first one. You know? My ult is almost ready. There. So they most likely were holding that DP and they know about it now. Literally no one got tagged by this ultimate. Look. No one is here. You should be running in. You should be running in through that slow with a flash, or you should have had your second TP to go onto site. Right now, this ultimate from Fade was completely wasted. Thirty seconds left. A lower res, more FPS, and yeah, it doesn't matter for top end PCs. It's just bad habits from TS using strut resolution for this look. There's really no reason to use stress resolution over here. Ten seconds left. <laughs> yeah, so this this round is literally on you. Because you didn't attack the site when the fade ulted, and you wasted your TP on C site. No, this this fucking omen is really fucking weird. Also, your opponents are literally you. <laughs> your opponent's omen is as bad as yours, omen. He's literally using a smoke to help you guys. It's unreal.
Yeah, again, um, you gained nothing. You sacrificed two flashes. Now you have nothing to enter with the TP. So you're going to use it for a fake, right? But that is easily checked. And then we're like going into the unknown and you motivated the opponents to check the fake so they might be actually looking at you when they go and drop. Like the chamber in the round before or two two rounds before, right? One heaven. Yeah. See, like... You, you you don't know about anyone here. And not, right now you're alone on site. You should be holding the spike. Not checking corners right now. Or use your clown. You know? Use your clown. You were using it. It's, it's, it's kind of funny because you were using your clown before. Like almost every round. But when you actually enter the site, you don't use it. You need to change your mindset about using the utility. <coughs> And again, you have the ultimate, by the way, right? Same pattern. You use your clown. You set up your TP. That's for a sage wall, by the way. And now you have a zero, zero util. You have your ult still. But you gained nothing from the... You, you got nothing of value from the util that you used this entire round. So this is a very big eye-opener for you. Because you might think you were top-fragging and you... You did everything to win the game. But you literally... Quite literally... Lost one round on defense because you were too aggressive. And I have... Never seen you enter a site on attack, even when Fade made space for you with the ultimate. And also you have never used the attack ultimate to gather space on site. So this is gonna be like a very, very big learning moment for you. Like this vote review is perfect to learn. Okay, you still you didn't buy any flashes. Mm, how much cash do you have? You have three point four. No one can buy you anything. If that if this would be my game, I would have gone for the ultimate of a thing and I have still full buy, right? But it is what it is. It's different playstyles. So now you have no utility, only the clone. And again, you don't use your ultimate, right? Look. I can uh, also see uh, Yeah? That should have been the first thing you call. Every round you have the ult for the attack, you should be attacking like this. But you have no util to be aggressive now. Okay, I like this. I like this. You wait and now you swing. Good. This was, this was well done. This is how you should have been playing all the time on attack when you have the ultimate. You know? This was really okay. Reloading. Let's go see, I think. Let's try the rest. Yeah, the plan to go. Like Thirty seconds left. You have absolutely no time to rest because it's 20 seconds left. And you left your... Look, your teammates are on B. Right here. You're losing a 2v5 just because you left your teammates not planting. See? It's all, all, all on you. Literally. No more head spike. Yeah, but it's no also your fault. It's everyone's in the team fault. Right here. Everyone's in the team, including you. This is... 
perfect VOD review to learn from. Perfect VOD review to learn from. You had massive amount of kills, but most of them were not impactful, and you learned that you need to stop baiting your teammates and how to properly do that. You learned how to use your ut util with more purpose, and you learned that you are not aggressive enough on attack, and you learned that you're not taking advantage of your teammates' utility. You know? Thank you for sending the VOD. Hope you enjoyed this. I know you might feel bad now, but this is perfect opportunity for you to get better because you already have the aim.